Here, Jose Benavidez fought a little bit earlier today, tonight. He came in six wins all by way of knockout without a loss. Fought a guy by the name of Josh Beeman, more experienced fighter. It had 14 fights, or their 12 fights. was four and six with a couple of knockouts and a couple of draws. But uh, this guy, not Josh Beeman, but this guy, Jose Benavidez, uh, is really somebody to keep an eye on. I really like this guy a lot. Yes, I, I see a lot of future and this kid, I mean, he's working with Freddie Broach. He's learning a lot. In every fight, he's improving. And, you know, hopefully we'll see him down the line where we could see with someone that, that'll take him some rounds. He just turned 18, Rich, and he seems to have power in both hands. Ah. Long amateur experience. Yeah, he won a lot of national titles as an amateur. He's very rangy, long arms. He's going to have a height advantage and reach advantage almost everybody he fights at this weight. And he uses it. He's very poised in the ring. Look how calm he is in the ring. And we saw him in his first fight in January, and now here we are in June. This is already his seventh professional fight, so they're keeping him very, very active, and he is definitely coming through every step of the way. His opponent had more professional fights than him, a Beeman coming in, but really Benavides is far beyond his years. Deceptive power from Benavides, too. I mean, when you look at him, uh, and we've seen him, of course, uh, just you know, in hotels and had a chance to visit with him from time to time. Looks like a librarian, wears glasses. <laughs> he doesn't look intimidating at all. At all. But once he's inside the ring, he's a dangerous fighter. He's from Phoenix, he's living and training in Los Angeles, now being homeschooled and just about to graduate high school. Saw that jab a moment ago, it's just a sharp jab. Now, there's a body shot and that was it. As you can see, it just paralyzed Beeman. He could not move. The way he changed it up, too, that's impressive. I mean, he threw a right hook to the body, perhaps not a lot of power on it, just to set up his power punch, which was the left hook to the body, and that's what completely paralyzed his opponent. And as you could see, he didn't get back up. Yeah, and that's the thing about this kid. Uh, he's now fought seven times, had seven knockouts. All have come fairly early. But I think what's interesting about him is he, he looks very balanced, like beyond his years. You know, he, and he, all those seven knockouts have come in a variety of ways. Here he got the guy out with a body shot, set up with another body shot. We've seen him get guys out with a jab and a hook behind it. Seen him get guys out with an uppercut. I mean, he, he seems to have the whole arsenal. How about a few years with him and Freddie Roach together? You think a good fighter could emerge from that, from the beginning of a star-studded amateur career like that? Well, we talked to Freddie Roach, and he said he puts him in there in sparring sessions with Manny Pacquiao and, and all the other guys that are in uh, in Freddie's uh, gym, which, of course, are outstanding guys. There's another look at that body shot. And it, it does. It just paralyzes an opponent. Maybe you can talk about what that feels like.